Hey guys, <clears throat> can you hear me? Actually, I have my Bluetooth on, but it makes no sense to have it on, does it? I don't need it on. I'm gonna shut it off. Off here. One second, if I can pull it down. There we go. Bluetooth off. All right. So I'm at my new desk in my new house and my nails are literal crap, you guys. I have to replace three tips, but I got to do cuticle work on them. Um, I was trying to set up my nail space as best I could. I didn't even have time to put together my um, new rolling cart. All right. Hey, Mallory. Okay. Hey, Christine. I'm glad you were able to join. Let me see. Maybe I can pull this light down a little more. I have to replace the... I got a wicked bag cut right here. I have, like, all kinds of peeling. My, my hands are, like... So dry, I have a chip now here. My thumbnail is broke, snapped off. My nails are just a hot mess. So I'm gonna do my cuticle work and then I'm gonna put these three tips on. It's gonna be a longer than normal live. Those of you who watch me regularly probably know that because, um, let's see if I can. Seems like this is, oh, there we go, hold on. Let me just adjust a little bit here. No, that's that's not straight. Is that straight? It, does, it, feel, it doesn't feel like it is. What if I come further down this way? Let's see. There we go. Okay, that's better. All right, that's much better. <sighs> I got my whole new setup. I'll have to take pictures. I still don't have anywhere for my swatch rings, and the walls are, like, all freshly painted, so I don't want to do anything to damage them. I think I'm going to buy some more 3M hooks, which is what I had in my old apartment. I took the hooks, but I don't have the adhesive backing. All right, so let's get to work here. I'm going to take out my smallest ball bit for my cuticle work here. And I like to run my drill at like three or 4,000 RPMs. Usually I put it at four. Mallory, you know Christine, right? That's pinky nails. I know it's funny, but people, you know, we know each other better, I think, by our Instagram handles than our actual names. <laughs> Got a little bit of this now is in rough shape, as you can see. There's some peeling. Doesn't bother me at all, like what they look like underneath, because I'm covering them up anyway. All right, so it's my thumb, my middle nail, and my ring finger. And Christine and I are going to be Manny twinning uh, with Tales of Our Nails dips. Christine, are you a guest this month as well, or are you a permanent ambassador? I'm not sure. I'm a guest this month. So we're doing like a chevron color block. With a couple of glitter nails and some striping tape. Should be pretty. Brit, oh, I miss you too. Oh, Christine, okay, you're permanent. All right, that's why you must have all the dips. <laughs> I thought so. 
All right, I have it on top messages. Let me switch it to all messages. Is Patty here? Okay, not yet. Britt, I've missed you so much and I love my desk. Oh my God, it's awesome. Brittany is such an awesome friend. She bought me this nail desk, Christine, that I'm sitting at right now. I already have it filled up with stuff, too. I even brought a TV tray over next to me to put a few other things. <laughs> like a roll of paper towels. My smoke stuff. <laughs> that kind of stuff. My jelly tips. <laughs> I already trimmed the length off these nails. They were starting to grow. Because before I was like, I'm just going to let them grow out. And then once they were growing out, I'm like, you know what? I don't think I will. All right. I am going to just put some prep on them to dehydrate them really quick. And then I'll put primer on my nails and primer in my um, tips. I do, Britt. They are. And you know what I love, too? I love the finish of it. I'm telling you, I told Patty, it took me longer to put together the chair. that. And Patty, one of my other besties, she's awesome. She bought me a chair for my desk. And it's awesome. It's teal. It swivels. And actually, I could raise the height if I wanted to. Let's see. Do I? Oh, I just lowered it. Hold on. Let me go up. I have to get my butt up off of it for it to go up. When you sit on it, it goes, all right, so this is as high as it goes, which is actually perfect for me. I'm short, so. All right, perfect. All right, so this is primer. It's a new one I had to get because I was running super low on the ones I had. So I ordered it off of Amazon. It's Moravan is the brand acid-free primer for uh, acrylic and UV nails, it says. All right. Let me get out my nail glue gel. So this is what I like to use to attach my tips you guys, it makes attaching them so easy because, so it's a solid nail glue gel from Imaly. The best thing about it is it's HEMA free. I have a HEMA allergy and I break out to a lot of stuff. So um, this I have no reaction to, but because it's solid, you can do all your nails at once and then cure them all at once. You don't have to press down on them to make sure the gel, the nail doesn't pop off and you don't get an air bubble. Once you press it down on there, it's down on there. And then you can go through, you can do all 10 nails and then cure them all at once. So I do have a affiliate code for the Imaly website. It's Tara 10, FYI. I love the finish of it, it's so pretty. I put the X bar, the crossbar on the back too. Yeah, it didn't, it was super simple to put together. The chair took longer because it had a bunch of screws. Oh, okay, Christine, let's see how green, um, how much green comes across in flax and dust. Okay, otherwise it will be a St. Patrick's Manny, right? I mean, because it definitely has green flashes and then gold, you know. Super pretty. And then iridescence. So we're going to be doing a color block Manny. I don't know if I mentioned that. Christine came up with um, the design. So I was definitely down for that. So I just take some of this gel out and just kind of flatten it in here, super easy. So I unpacked some of my nail stuff, got my drawer, drawers put away besides my new cart that needs to be assembled. Um, but so much stuff 
needs to be unpacked. And my pots and pans are still at the old apartment. My crock pot, my two crock pots, but I'm only going to take one. Those are both there. Half, well, some of my clothes hanging in the closet are still there. I got to go get that stuff. It's hard because Dominic's like virtually worthless as far as helping goes. I mean, he did some, but most of the day he just spent laying in his bed. So it was like, that kind of made me mad. And Nick spent more time cleaning the old apartment than he did. I'm like, let's just get our stuff out and into the new place. And we'll worry about cleaning after. So he spent like all day yesterday cleaning while I was the one making all the trips up two flights of stairs. I'm telling you, my calves are dead. My shoulders are dead. <laughs> They're all dead. Oops, hold on. Oh, I got an itch. Hey, Amy. Hi, Tara. As you can imagine, guys, because I've been moving my nails and my hands in general are a hot mess. Did you guys look at my pictures? I don't want to send any yet, any of what the apartment looks like now because it's just filled with boxes pretty much. So, plus, we have no kitchen table and no um, living room set right now. So it's like hardly anywhere to sit. <laughs> and... The place we're going to go to get our living room set was closed on Sundays and Mondays. So, Nick's going to call today. Because I, I know we can just go online. And we can even just order right from online. Okay. Just making sure I'm putting the right size on the right finger. And then even clean up with this gel is super easy. I just kind of hold the nail onto my nail bed and scrape out any extra from underneath so I don't end up with, you know, a big clump of gel there. And you have plenty of time to like rearrange it if it's not straight or whatever, you know. Um, it just, I love this stuff. I love it. It was like I should have been the one cleaning and like he should have been the one moving the stuff, you know. But the way the landlord treated us before we left for the whole winter, we had no heat. He refused to fix it. Half of our electrical outlets we couldn't use because our... Um, our electrical box was literally crackling, crackling. And now he wants to move into our old place. So good luck on him. Have fun. As far as I'm concerned, I'm like, leave it. Don't clean a friggin' thing. Let him do it. The week before we were moving out, he went through the yard 
took down all our lawn ornaments and our outdoor uh, seating area and everything and threw it all into a pile. He even took my neighbor's stuff down and threw it in our pile. It does heat spike. Hey, fun folks. There's Patty. Hi, Michelle. You guys, because my hands are such a mess, even this one, the Manny I did for Patty's birthday, this now snapped. I cut myself wicked bad right here yesterday. And it was hurting so bad like this this morning. Like I took off the Band-Aid this morning, but because I was doing stuff around the house, it started to get hurt. So I poured peroxide over it and oh my God, it stung so bad. But I just put another Band-Aid on it. So this hand's a hot mess, but my left hand was even worse. I had to replace three tips. So that's what I'm working on now. I'm curing the tips onto the nails. Um, but we're going to do a color block Manny Twin with Tales of Our Nails Dips. Christine and I are uh, Manny Twinning. If you don't know her by Christine, she's here today. You know her by Pinky Nails 5, I think is her handle. Is that right, Christine? I should have had you come live with me, girl. Hi, Harper. Welcome to the Daily Nail. This is my weekday Daily Nail show. My name is Tara, and I do uh, manis every day. Uh, all right. Oh, this heart under here. It was, I did it actually cleaning one of my 10 drawer rolling carts. I cut my finger like I was um, dusting it, you know, like using a Clorox wipe and the metal on the side of the drawers, like sliced my finger. All right. So now that we have our three new tips on, I am uh, going to switch out my drill bit to a sanding band just to rough them up. We'll put a gel top coat on, cure them, and uh, then we can get going with peel base. How's everybody doing? I've missed you guys so much. It feels like I haven't been live in forever. It's been so long, I fell behind in my mayonnaise. Christine and I were supposed to do this mani for yesterday but there was just no way I could get it done. It was hard enough for me to get patties done, and even that one was a day late. So Nick, Nick texted Joao, our old landlord, and told him, it would benefit him to give us a few more days, you know, to get it cleaned. Cleaned out. Uh, let's get the trash cleaned out. But our trash is all overflowing. Everything's full, so we're just going to have to leave bags of trash in the apartment. You can get rid of them. But as far as here goes, like nothing is unpacked. And I don't know how to set up the living room because we don't have our, I think we're gonna get a sofa and a love seat. I'd like to get a sofa like that has recliners on the end if we're not gonna get a sofa and a recliner. Um, so we'll see. And now our, all four of our dining room table chairs were broken. Our table was okay, but it was so wide, we couldn't get it in. Just gonna really quick uh, clean up these stilettos. These ones didn't need to be replaced, but there is a little bit of staining underneath.
let those tend to dull kind of quickly. And depending on how sharp you want them to, maybe sometimes I like a softer stiletto. Sometimes I like them sharper. I think it all just depends on my mood. So these three nails, I'm going to put a two-in-one gel top coat on them, cure them. Michelle, thanks for messaging me and checking in with me and stuff. That was nice of you. A bunch of you I've talked to throughout the move. Like, I talked to Britt a little bit. I've been talking to Patty every day, so she knows what's been going on. And then Michelle messaged me to see how everything was going. Um, I think you guys know. I mean, I've tried to keep you updated, but... I mean, the real moving didn't start until Saturday, and it was just full, straight three days of moving. We got our brother-in-law, Nick's sister's uh, husband, they live right around the corner, to come help with some heavy stuff. He helped with the beds. And then... Um, the next day, he came and helped Nick move my mirror. Because it's one of those big ones with a mirror, you know. So, but that was all he helped with. Everything else we did. And, like me, I can only lift certain things that are so heavy, you know. Like, I filled up grocery bags with, with our cabinet pantry items you know what I mean and I carried those over but I could only carry one full bag at a time so every trip and there's 14 steps up <laughs> so I'm like dying by the time I get up I'm telling you this is the most exercise I've done in years <laughs> my lamp's not even on the right setting Oh, Patty, you, did you read the Dip Goddesses chat this morning? I said I was going live. I was just so busy trying to get my nail area, my drawers put away and everything, my rolling carts put together that um, I didn't even have time to text you this morning. But I did go on to Instagram and just like check in in a few groups Message Christine because we were supposed to twin yesterday. So we're doing that today. Um, and um, I messaged in Dip Goddesses that I was going live. All right, there we go. I still got to put peel base on, but this dries quick. And as soon as it dries, I'm going to lay down a base, dip base coat, a layer of dip base coat on the two nails that we're going to color block. And the type of color block we're doing today is a chevron color block. We're going to do two glitter nails, two uh, chevron color block nails, and one solid nail. And like I said, this was totally uh, Christine's design idea. So uh, props to her. I was down. I was worried because I couldn't find my cosmic nail sticky shit. Part of my language, but that's actually what it's called is sticky shit. Um, this works great under striping tape, which tends to lift. Or, and if you put dip base down, it will take the color off your striping tape if it touches it, you know. So, um, I'm going to use this under my striping tape to hold it. And I couldn't find it, so then I'm like, I got these really nice, um, 
gel liners. It was like a three pack or they were sold individually on Timu, but they're like super metallic -y. I got a silver, a gold and a rose gold. And don't you know, the only one I could find this morning so far was the rose gold. So not sure where it is. And one other thing I just got to say about um, Abby, I've been so busy that I haven't even directly messaged. I messaged her about the Manny, but I forgot to say this. I was so impressed with um, the packaging and the extra goodies and the card, excuse me, the card that um, she sent me. Super sweet note, really heartfelt written inside, personalized to me. Um, she sent a, a nail fee ring, a cuticle oil, and, um, also the cutest, where is it, cosmetic bag, if I can find it, give me one sec. Oh, it's a, oh, here it is. You guys see my chair? We have all hardwood floors in here. So it says, Tales of Our Nails. But then when you flip it over, it has my handle. I didn't even notice that until like two days later <laughs> that it was on, that there was something on the back. So I was just so impressed and really touched by um, her note and um, just the packaging was beautiful, you know? She did a great job and I wanna let her know how impressed I was. Good morning, Patty. Oh, Patty saying good morning, everyone. She joined late. I'm sorry you ran out of gas, John Dalton, but I just moved and I'm completely broke and I need furniture. You want my cat? You want my PayPal? You want my Venmo? Not appropriate, dude. Yeah, super sweet. So you want you guys want to hear a funny story? Listen to this. Um, oh my God, where's my coffee? I gotta go find it. But then don't let me forget to tell you what happened when the cable guy was here yesterday, okay? <laughs> Oh my God, I can't find it. I just made it too. Might be in the bathroom. Yeah, I was in the bathroom. Okay, so listen to this, you guys. Yeah. It was really sweet. So when I called, when we don't have cable, we have like the fire stick and then we have like Netflix and Amazon Prime and all that. And plus I, I watch YouTube like 99% of the time anyway. So, um, so they, when I called to switch our internet service, they said that there hadn't been service here since 2014, so a technician would have to come out and stuff. So he came and he looked at the wire and he said, I already had to go outside. He'd, um, 
be out there for a while. And then I get a call from him from outside and he asked if there was access to the basement because he had to check in the basement. So I said, yeah. So I let him into the basement. Mind you, the landlord and his girlfriend, they go to work every day. So they weren't home. Well, he was in the basement working and then he called me from the basement and said that somebody had cut, totally just cut the cable wire. So he had to run a new one. So I'm like, that's fine. And then he said something about medical marijuana. And I'm like, what'd you say about medical marijuana? He's like, yeah, there's plants growing down here. I'm like, oh, so Patty told me I should say this. And I did. So I texted Thomas, the landlord last night. And I said, yeah, the cable guy had to run a wire down there. Uh, and he found your, he saw your garden. I said, does that come with the apartment? Patty told me I should ask him that. So I totally did. He goes, it'd be a nice perk, but unfortunately it's not included with the unit. <laughs> It was pretty funny, I thought, though. All right, let's see. All right, we're dry. So, like I said, I am going to put down some dip base to protect my peel base because I am going to lay down tape for color blocking. I usually always do that. Um, I don't trust myself to freehand it. So our thumb and um, ring finger are going to be the color blocked nails in a chevron design. So let's just put down some base. We'll let that air dry on the two nails. We're going to color block. And again, the reason for that is to protect my peel base. So when I put tape down and then lift it to remove it, it doesn't lift up my peel base. I don't know why I closed that. All right, in the meantime, the pinky is going to be with honey bronze. I haven't had time, unfortunately, to swatch these colors, but it's like a yellowish, almost like a sunflower yellow. It looks like in the jar, maybe different on the nail, but the pinky is going to be with this solid. So there's one solid nail in the mani, and it's the pinky. And I'm going to pour over for this first layer. Christine. You're not doing your Manny now, right? I need a precision tool. There we go. I'm going to do both layers of this, and then I'm actually probably, depending on if my base is dry, I'll probably do, um, we're going to do two glitter nails with a dip called Flaxen Dust, and it's super pretty. It's a chunky glitter that has gold, iridescence, and then definitely um, hints of green in it, too. So we were originally going to do like a Mardi Gras Manny, but I didn't get any purples. I got a purple to pink thermal, but obviously that wouldn't work, right? So um, I might have to do three layers, let's see. Yeah, I got a streak here, a couple streaks. Depending on um, how dark the color is, you know, um, lighter colors can tend to require a third dip. It's not super bad, but there's a little streak there, there, and then I can see through it a bit here. So I just want to make sure we have full coverage. 
This time for my third layer, I'm going to lay flat into the dip just to make sure it's nice and even and fully covered. And I keep touching my fingers, keep touching the nails with base on them. Michelle, you wearing your bracelet? Gosh, I think I'm doing a horrible job applying. It's like all lumpy. All right. This has a slight shimmer to it. It's pretty. It's that little bump down there and there. All right, we are going to need this color again, but I'm gonna put it away for right now. Oh, okay. Hi, Sally. Celestial love ho. Okay, is that where you are? No celestial nanny today, but the last two nights I was outside with Dominic in the yard with his telescope. We were looking at Jupiter, Orion's belt, and the we were trying to get the Orion Nebula, but uh, it's kind of hard to see with his telescope. The lens he had in is like a... 10 times, I think, or maybe 25. It comes with a couple of lenses, and a, he had the weaker one in. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Key. All right, so the index and middle now, you guys, we are going to do with... Flax and dust. Look how pretty that is. I should put a finger clot on. I'm gonna grab one. So protect my finger from any glitters getting on there. Michelle, your cosmic manny is fire. You never do a manny that isn't fire. That glitter back on the nail. Okay, so I like for glitters, um, I like to pour over for the first layer and then lay flat for layer number two. And I just picked up. Okay. Hey, Brandis. Hey, Anna Banana. So this is gonna be a Manny twin. It's not just me doing this Manny. I am twinning with 
Christine, and we are doing, um, we're using dips from Tales of Our Nails dips. You can save there this month with code Tara10. This is so pretty, this glitter. Tap it off. So I'm just using my precision tool here to just clean up. Patty, what are you doing? Are you working today? It's Tuesday. Are you working? we go. So we'll brush these off. Last a couple more glitters, but that's okay. I'm going to give it a shake to bring up more of those chunkies. I do want to land some of those on this second layer. You can see on my first layer, especially on the middle nail here, that it's fine and all small glitters on the nail. Definitely want to get some of those chunkies. How pretty. I'm gonna let it sit for a moment. Okay. Those glitters up there. Anything that's hanging off of the edge, I try to get on the nail, unless there's a ton, you know, I'll just knock them off. I might hand play some up at the top. We'll see. You thinking about doing a manny, Patty? Oh, I'm excited to be trending with you too, Christine, especially because we were both like thinking along the same lines as far as some of the design details went. I'm like, oh, she's my kind of girl. <laughs> I like symmetry too. <laughs> but I gotta tell you, I'm glad both of the boys are out of the house today. That Nick's at work and Dominic's at school. I have the house to myself that I can actually like do some stuff and have my life without getting, I mean, there was no question I couldn't do it yesterday. I originally was going to try, but there was still so much that needed to be done at the old apartment. Thank God it's only next door. <laughs> Did you guys look at the pictures I sent to Dip Goddesses, the apartment? That looks good. I'm happy with the chunkies on this now, but I want to add some to the top of that now. I 
So I'm just going to brush it off. And all I'm going to do is add some base near the top. And I think I'm just going to kind of cheat and just lay into it. There we go. Perfect. If you don't have a precision tool like this, use a cuticle stick or a toothpick or something. Help clean up your cuticle lines um, and save yourself some filing time. Actually, now this has more. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to hand place a couple gold glitters. Now I'm being super picky here, but I like my nails to kind of, if I have the time or if I'm in the mood, I like to, um, Like this one has a lot of gold, so I just want to add some gold to it. Put some base on my stick, there we go. I think that's better. That's white. <laughs> All right, we'll leave it like that. Cute, cute, cute. All right, so we are done with the glitter. And this here is called Flax and Dust. Super gorgeous. Everybody speak Spanish here, you guys? That can translate that for me. I messed up, Christine. I just did my middle and ring with glitter instead of my index and in middle. Can we do the color block on the thumb and index instead? I'm sorry. I do that all the time. Well, enough. <laughs> I mess up on a nail, put the wrong dip on it. Hey, that's ne sais pas. That's fr oh, she's speaking French? Hold on. Why your children? Why are your children pretty or something? <laughs> oh my goodness. What's the matter? You didn't make it to the bathroom rip? You just let it rip? <laughs> All right. See that dip right here on the side of my skin? We'll file that away. You won't even see it. Same with that little bump. I gotta wait for that to dry since I just put base on it. Um, let me get rid of that. I'm running low on cupcake liners, you guys. So we're gonna use this golden color and a white for the chevron color block. I'm planning to use electrical tape. Thank you. I'm working on them. These ones are a hot mess. I'm I I'm in the middle of moving. Like still haven't moved everything, but we're mostly moved. So my nails are a mess. 
It's my first Manny in like days. I took four years of French, three in high school and one year in college, but I don't remember a lot of it. I remember the basics. I think I'm going to move my coffee onto my desk. I refuse to put it down without a coaster or a paper towel or something underneath it. I'm not leaving a ring on my desk. I almost want to put something over it, Britt, to protect the whole thing from so the wood doesn't get damaged. I know they make things to protect your desk. Oh, that coffee is good. All right. Let's start with the thumb since that's already dry. So when I'm... Actually, let's pour out the dips. So honey bronze. <clears throat> actually. Let me leave some. <laughs> I might need to pour over. <laughs> and then we're going to use... um. Sweet Stone, which is an off-white, creamy color. Really pretty. So you can use electrical tape, scotch tape, um, masking tape, duct tape, any tape you have laying around to color block. I'm actually going to cut the width of this in half. Nope, thumb. Oh, it's hard to color block on a thumb. Okay. So I'm trying to get this tape how I want it here. It's not landing how I want it. Let's try that. Okay. It doesn't look straight. Oh, I put down the wrong side. Okay, this is the straight side. You definitely need patience, I think, with this kind of stuff. Ooh, mine's going to be really small if I do that. <laughs> Go down some more. We want to try and center it so that the um, bottom of the chevron is in the middle of the nail here. What a bitch. <laughs> All right. It's going to be um, more gold, but that's okay. Is that too small, Christine, you think? It hasn't damaged it yet, Britt? Should I go further down or should I? I'm just going to leave it because it's already taped. 
So we're gonna do white up here. Well, with sweet stone anyway. So I'm gonna go in with my, let's make sure that tape is down good at the cuticle. All right. Just putting base in that little triangle area. That's still wet. What is going on? What? Why is that brown? And there's a glitter on it. Huh. My brush isn't brown. I'm gonna get rid of most of the base this time. Try and avoid the tape. I don't think that's what's causing it, but. Yeah, I don't know how Ellie does all those thumb color blocks. In my opinion, hardly anybody looks at the thumb. <laughs> if I'm going to do a nail that's, in, for me anyway, that's like going to be a center nail, it's going to be like on a different finger than the thumb. Probably the middle or ring finger, you know. But that's just me. Everybody's different. Heck. I don't understand what this gray is. See it, you guys? Is that a shadow? Oh, I touched it. I shouldn't have. I'm going to activate it. I know, right, Britt? Thanks, Poppy. Hi, Loki Zune. I see you. I see you all. If you, if you say hi, I will say hi back. Let me grab some tweezers here. So I'm going to like super carefully remove this. The main reason I'm just going slow is so. Hopefully not mess up my lines, but I swear my peel base lifted. All right. So there are definitely a little bit of imperfections, nothing major, but I'm just gonna go in with my cuticle stick and I 
and I just straighten these out as best I can. You can also use a file to do this. I'm color blocking Millie. Have you ever color blocked before? If you don't like it, move on. Guys, that's like really short, but I don't want to redo it. Oh, I got a glitter in here. in there. All right. So what I'm going to do now with the gold color. Name the car for an edit. Hi, Haley. Name a car for an edit. How about a how about a Dodge Challenger? I bet I'm not going to be able to get this dip off tomorrow or whenever. So this part here just goes super careful around the color block line and you should be all right. I'm wondering if this is going to come out lumpy because of my peel base, you guys. It probably will. Yeah, like right here, it's a little lumpy. Okay, let's brush it up. motorcycle driving by. I love all the natural light that we have in this apartment. It's so different from our old place, you guys. Like our walls are all paneling. The carpet was like a light brown. And um, the light that we got was like behind the house in the afternoon. So it was like shady light, you know what I mean? But it's like really bright and like airy in here. I like that. Peel base messed it up over here. This is a hot mess. Thank God for filing. Look at that. Again, um, I have to do a third layer. Gosh. I used to like color blocking. I don't know what happened. I'm not enjoying this. Maybe it's the shape that's getting me. Maybe it's the peel base I messed up over here.
I hate it. I hate it. It's not even straight over here. Oh, thanks for your advice, Mafia Queen. I've been doing this show for three years. I've done plenty of color blocks. I just don't care for Chevron color blocks. Okay, sweetie. All right. Um... <clears throat> All right, I think it'll be all right once we put the color block and uh, the striping tape. It's going to have to be okay. I hope the peel lace um, does not lift on this color block. Christine, I hate the way my thumb came out. The only good thing is nobody really sees the thumb, right? Go. Oh, I can't wait. We, we don't even have our TVs hooked up yet, you guys. So I cannot wait to have some background noise. I'm going to have to keep this short like the other one, probably. Uh, I apologize, Mafia Queen, then, if that's how you meant it. All right, let's do this one here. Actually, this is, you're watching the Daily Nail. This is my Daily Nail show um, on live Monday through Friday. I wasn't on last week because we just moved. We're still not unpacked, but I missed you guys. I had to come back. Is that too short? No, it's going to be fine. I'm going to make it fine. No, Christine, we're not going to scrap it. I'm already doing it. I like a challenge. And, of course, it's not going to come out perfect. No man is ever perfect. But as long as I'm learning from it, that's the main thing, right? All right. Can you guys believe this spring is four years since I started doing my own nails? Four years, and chastity's been at it even longer. Now, see, that applied really nice, nice and smooth. I'll probably do three layers like I did on the last one, just to keep it the same.
just gonna pour over the dip here. Oh, it's not quite dry. I think I brushed too soon. <laughs> I am going to go ahead and just do a third layer. Did you guys hear that garden story about the basement? Pretty funny, right? One more time pouring over. I'm only doing three layers here because it's a light color. Normally, um, two layers should be good. I'm just gonna wait a second till it's like completely set and dry before brushing off. I'm not going to activate this time. We'll see what a difference it makes because this one kind of came all crappy, but see those lumps and everything once i encapsulate this nail and i file this nail you're not gonna see any of that what'd you do brandis I gotta scroll up. I missed some Kaufman comments. Yeah, that's true. I'm just used to like my color blocking usually working out, but I stopped doing it for like a long time. Like I used to color block a lot. It was my favorite technique for a while. And then I stopped doing it. And actually, I think this came out better than this where I activated. Um, Christine, yours are probably going to be a lot longer than mine, your white spots. Or your white Vs. Triangles, whatever you want to call them. All right, so next part is we're just going to go around it. I'm going to start down here at the free edge, and then I'll just slowly work my way up here. I'm just turning the brush onto its side. Whoops. Lay flat into this golden color. So this is kind of like a St. Patty's Day Manny, you guys. The colors with the gold, the off-white, which is actually more like an, a light nude, and then this iridescent glitter with gold and green. I have so much more space though, you guys, sitting here. Britt, it's awesome having all this space. This is wider than the corner my table was that I used to sit at, you know? It's so awesome. My chair is awesome. That you guys are awesome. Patty even sent me a care package. I 
got that yesterday. I do wish I made these chevron geese longer further down, but whatever it is what it is. I'm out of practice. <laughs> I want to do one more layer just to match up the three layers of gold on every nail. Tara, what are you doing? You've been quiet since you got here. Brandis, what are you talking about when you said you switched brands, did an entirely different Manny, and then went to bed? What What did you do? Oh, and Britt, do you want to uh, twin on Orly soon? Still bad. Still wet. Dry. All right, I'm gonna let that sit. Oh my God, so horrible. <laughs> Sweet stain. a sip of my coffee. Sit back in my chair. It's nice to have something to lean against again. Oh. Um, did you, was it a dip, Manny Brandis? Our next step is going to be to encapsulate the nails, which is where you put clear over them. So we're gonna do that. And then with dip powder, you don't cure them in a lamp. You put a liquid called activator on them, which cures them. So that's what we'll do after we cover them with clear. I was hoping to have the TVs hooked up last night. I was looking, we have to buy the brackets to hang them on the wall. Dominic's TV's a little smaller than the one going in our room. 
So that bracket is like 18 and change. And it's actually a universal bracket. Like it turns so you can like tip the TV up or down or whatever. Um, what is that? All right. Um, and then the one I found for us is like 22 something, but it's just a regular one. It doesn't turn. For the bigger TVs, the ones that um, turn are like 40 something dollars. Hi, Coach Ryan Wagner. Oh, I'm sorry I missed the Brandis. Was it Valentine's, Manny? There we go. Look how gorgeous that glitter is, you guys, right? Beautiful. Again, just cleaning up with the precision tool. You can see that clear acrylic that was in my cuticle lines coming out. I feel like I keep missing the sides of my nails. That's better. Getting low on dip base. I'm going to have to order some dip liquids. But I don't have any money to do that now. Really? Did you use clear dip to encapsulate? Or did you use gel? Whenever you have bumps on your nails, you know, you got to like make sure that base, dip base gets in that little gap. All right. Hope I can salvage this now. <laughs> a new um, formula for her gels. She switched formulas. It's still hema-free, she said, but um, 
I don't know what she changed. She just said it's a new formula. So she sent me the red one, but I haven't tried it yet. Alrighty. I'm going to flip, <laughs> flip my finger cut to the clean side so I can press down when I activate. My main thing was that little bump in there. And besides flattening it out right now with filing, see, it's almost gone. But once we file, it will be completely gone. The glitter nails look dope. I don't even think I need to press them down. This is a great. Oh, this thing is sticking more than a plastic bag, though. I don't know where my plastic bags are, you guys. Jesus Christ. It could be anywhere. Crap. This is the wrapper to the cuticle oil. This might work. We'll try it. There we go. This one feels a little bit bumpy up in a couple spots where there's chunky glitters. Seems to be working all right. A little sticky, but not as bad as that plastic uh, finger clip. Now, usually with solid nails, you don't need to press down like this, but because it's a color block and because I didn't do a great job on it, I want to make it even if I can. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I don't know what happened here. There was a glitter. I scooped it out and now there's just a black mark there. My captivator's almost gone. This thumbnail, the main reason it came out so messy is because the tape did lift my peel base. I don't know why. I thought I gave myself all the advantages of, um, you know, uh, not having my peel base lift, but it's still lifted. Getting this acrylic off my fingers. 
All right, so after you activate your dip nails, you gotta let them sit for a couple of minutes. We are going to put some striping tape here. What is that, you guys? I can't leave that there. Ah, whatever. It is what it is. Is it a full moon tonight or last night? Are you making a joke, Patty? <laughs> I knew you were. <laughs> hey, all these people give me views, though. It's funny when they come out with stuff, I just don't understand what they mean. <laughs> I don't know how to respond. Oh God, I hate wearing bras. I think we should like um, go on strike from wearing them. Look how pretty this color is, you guys. Don't mind my broken nail there, but um, so pretty in my hot mess nail <laughs> uh, finger. Um, this is actually it's a um, like a dark plum base with blue and teal and purple flakies. It's so gorgeous. That's um, the dip that Raza from Phoenix Dip Powders made for Patty's birthday and it's not even for sale. So I was super psyched to have gotten some. I love purple. I adore flakes. So you guys knew I was going to like that. <laughs> so we're just waiting um, on the nails here. That's this Manny here. Yeah, I'm really not impressed with this. It would have been better if we had done it like a deep French V or something, Christine, you know. Especially because this is like a nude color. But that's my fault for making them so small. This one's even smaller than this one. <laughs> Hopefully, with um, the striping tape, I can make it look a little larger. I have a 100, 180 grit, super thin file that I like to use. Another 100, 180 grit that's a little thicker and super rough here. My freebie Revel nail file. I think it's a. I don't know. 180, 180, it feels like. And this is a 180, 180 Cryo file. I don't know that I'm going to use all of them, but um, these are the ones. Well, this is new. These are the ones I typically use. I also use my Ergo file around my cuticles. And then, of course, a buffer. Yeah, hopefully the tape will help, Christine. I do my own toes, but that's it. <laughs> Not a big feet person. So I'm pretty sure it's been, you know, two minutes. So we are good to start filing. Just like my dipping process, I like to start at the pinky.
and I know these look like a hot mess, but watch how much better they're going to look when they're done, you guys. Remember that lump in here? You can still kind of see it right there. Watch how that goes away. That's the best thing about dipping. That you don't have to be good at nails to have a beautiful manicure. I cannot paint nails. Nail polish doesn't last anyway, you know. Um, I could never do that. But dip dries so fast. And it's all on how you file it. Um, that's going to affect, you know, how it looks in the end. So, like Brandis said, it's very much a trust the process um, type of hobby. But the best part is with every step you do, you see your nails are looking nicer and nicer. And it's a really rewarding experience. Especially for somebody like me who could never do nails. And don't get me wrong, when I started dip, I couldn't do that either very well. But I just kept at it. I didn't give up. I kind of became addicted. <laughs> and that was even before, like, I knew about peel base. I was doing the soak off method and was still doing my nails every day because... I just loved, I had so much fun doing it, you know, I just wanted to put another color on, try another one. I'm going to go with a little stiffer file for my free edge here. Let's get that tiny bump out. There we go. Now see the dip all around my pinky. This is where I'm going to go in with that super rough 100 grit file. So now that I'm happy with um, the pinky, I'll move over to the ring finger and start filing this one. I'm using the 180 grit side just smooth at this glitter now just a tad. I like my nails nice and smooth. Hey Michelle, how's your brother-in-law's job going? Hi, XX Little Puff. Does that mean you vape or does that mean you smoke? Go. 
go. That looks really good. I'm happy with the shape of the ring finger. I usually get quiet when I'm filing, guys, just because I am concentrating, but I am still here. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, thanks, Pico. Yeah, I'm being careful. That's why I'm not using an e-file. <laughs> That's why I hand file. Well, that's a bummer, Michelle. Once my apartment is like all set up and my furn we have furniture and everything, then I'll take pictures to send you guys. That's why I send you the empty ones. Because otherwise you're just seeing boxes everywhere. Our fridge is super nice though. It, it's a home. It's got the freezer in the at the bottom it's like a big drawer and then it's a double door stainless steel fridge and there's just like so much space in there I'm like oh my god <laughs> Make sure when you're filing that you get the underside of your nail too, right? Sometimes I'll forget to do that and then I'll look and it will be like uneven or jagged. Now my two nightmare nails. <laughs> Okay. 
Hey, Brandis, I've been seeing all this stuff about flooding in L.A. and everything. Are you guys okay? Oh, he's on his fourth interview. Well, they must be serious about him then, Michelle, right? So that's a good sign. So you guys can see, I do have, um, I'm wearing full coverage stiletto jolly tips. These are from Luxie Nail. They're the medium stilettos. I do think that full coverage tips have, especially gel tips, have like changed the game. You know, they made um, doing mayonnaise, uh, Cut down on so much filing time. Just made everything so much easier. I'm trying to smooth this as much as possible. I'll go around my cuticles. Now you can see there's a bunch of stuff in here. We want to get all that out. done. We switch shaping. Okay. Woo. <clears throat> All right, next step, I'm just going to quickly buff the nails because I've already um, smoothed most of them. They don't really need much buffing. Okay. 
after we buff, we're going, I'll clean off the nails. Well, actually, I gotta use my ergo file. Then we'll clean off the nails. Um, I have this stuff called sticky shit. I'm gonna lay it down where the striping tape is going to go. It helps so much with keeping striping tape in place. A lot of times it just doesn't wanna stick, you know? Okay, this is the ergo file right here. This goes around your cuticles. And it's pretty amazing. Bonafide Beauty makes this and you can get it on Amazon. done here. I have a lot of dry skin. I'm just kind of filing it away. Okay, these look good. I'm gonna do is clean off my nails with a uh, nail brush and some rubbing alcohol. And stop spamming my chat, guys. I agree. Free Palestine. Okay, but don't spam my chat, please. A little bit of yellow up in here. Enough. All right, so I'm going to take my cosmic nails.
sticky shit. This stuff is awesome. And I think I'm just going to put it where the tape is going to go. So right on these V-lines here. And this is air dry, so it goes on like this purpley whitish color. But it dries clear. There's some gold tape. I'm going to give these a minute to dry. I can see they're not quite dry yet. Thank you. Yes, I can. How's that, Brandis? Too far? Okay, these should be dry. I have hair on me. Okay. Starting rolls of striping tape is not fun, you guys. See, there's some colors here, so I'm guessing that's where it is. Maybe. Yep. Okay. Might as well do this one. This is longer. Okay, we got one on. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to trim off this excess tape here and then down here. Come up a little more. Oh, no. Maybe I can move this down. 
There we go. Perfect. And then I'll just trim the excess up top. Okay. That looks good. So we're going to do the same thing on this smaller chevron. I may be able to use this other half, let's see. It keeps falling down. There we go, like that. Here. Okay, so we have that. That looks a lot better than it did. What do you guys think? Actually, it was gonna be Mardi Gras, but we didn't have, I didn't have a purple, so it's kind of more St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> now, because I use striping tape on these two nails, I cannot activate and top coat them. Uh, the activator will take off the color. So I am going to use a gel top coat for those nails, and I'm going to use dip top coat for my other three nails. This is a base and top coat in one, and it's HEMA free. It is my favorite um, top coat to use. It's made by Cosmic Nails, K-O-Z-M-I-K. I think that's like $12 or $13. And you can save 10% with code Tara10. She has her own website and she's on Etsy. Just want to cap my free edges real quick. Okay. So cure for 60 seconds, and then when they come out, we're just going to reactivate the other three nails. We'll let it sit, the activator sit for like 30 seconds, and then we'll wipe it off and top coat. It really did, Christine. Oh, I'm too close now, Brandis. I'm too close. Okay, I'll, I'll go up. I, because I hated those two nails before, well, before they were files and the tape got put on, but I really, I, I like it a lot more now with the tape on it. <laughs> 
Oh, I didn't even think to change the tape, Christine. I just automatically put green gold on. I wasn't even thinking. I'm sorry. I mean, if you wanted to do like another V of green tape or something, I'd be fine with that because there is green in the dip, the glitter. So this is activator now. And you don't have to like do a whole soaking layer the way you do um, when you first activate your nails. You just want to get a layer of it on there so it can do its thing with your top coat and dry it. All right, so center of heart. Okay, I know there's like stuff all over it though. Dust. It's going to take me a little bit to get used to this setup with this desk, Brandis. But I appreciate all the help you guys give me if I'm out of scent, if I'm out of focus, or um, any of that, you know? All right, so I'm just gonna wipe off with the lint-free wipe the nails that we activated. I appreciate it, girl. Okay, Christine, thank you. Thank you, Eleanor. So this is a really important step, you guys, to um, wipe off any extra activator before top coating. Your um, activator, if it comes in contact with your dip top coat, it's gonna harden it. So I felt a little, just make sure those are nice and smooth <laughs> the way I like them, all right. So, Dip top coat gets two layers. We're only doing three nails here. I'm in the center of the heart, Brandis. <laughs> this glitter is so beautiful. Ooh, there's hints of pink in it too. There are some white glitters, some iridescent glitters which flash green and then um, gold glitters. And there's fine, small, and chunky. So pretty. Oh God, I just noticed my striping tape is a little longer right there. Oopsie. So normally I would go right back and do my second layer of uh, dip top coat, but because these two nails don't need any dip top coat. Um, I'm just gonna wait a couple of seconds before I go in and do my second layer. If you look closely, you can see, it's, it may be hard to tell, but um, the dip top coat starts to get a little dull and a little textured looking. That's your sign to go in for your second layer of top coat. I don't cap my free edges with dip just because I pop off my mayonnaise frequently. But that's something you would probably want to do if you want your mayonnaise to last you. So 
also another cool thing about dip is the top coat dries typically in two minutes or less. Another reason why I can do dip nails. Um, so we're just going to give those a couple minutes. Um, I really like how this mani turned out. I thought I was going to hate it. You guys heard me say it. I hate it, right? I hated how these were looking, but they look so much better um, than they did before. So I'm really happy with this, Manny. Michelle, uh, I'm sorry, Michelle, Christine, you did a good job picking out the design. Thank you, person. Person. <laughs> Some of you guys have really funny uh, name YouTube names. You swallowed one of your nails, like one of your fingernails, or like a nail, like a hammer and nail. You should probably go to the emergency room. You have to poop that baby out. <laughs> I gotta say, if anything, today's live was entertaining. Once my nails are dry, I am going to slather them in uh, probably cuticle cream. I got this really nice one um, from Melanie at Hypnotic Nails for Christmas. It's cuticle cream with argan oil. And she gave us choices to pick scents, and I picked orange ginger, and it smells really good. The ingredients are sweet almond oil, beeswax, mango butter, argan oil, organic sunflower oil, lemon essential oil, and vitamin E. So, like, all good things. There's no water, no beeswax. Oh, no, there is beeswax. I'm sorry, but that's all natural. But you know what I mean? There's no, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's all natural. There's nothing bad in it. I'm not sure where Melanie got these, if the Village Soapsmith is on Etsy or if it was a website she found. Um, everything is handcrafted in Pinehurst, North Carolina. It came with this. It came with a um, hand cream and I think a scrub, if I'm not mistaken. She spoils us, like, really, at Christmas time and stuff. And just every month, she's very good to us. Michelle, which Lauren is um, Mel bringing on to do swatches? L-O-R-A-N. Who is that? What's her handle? Because I don't know who that is. Thank you, Patty. Oh, I'm sure hers. I'm sure her lines are much better than mine too. Her RVs, her, her chevrons. Yeah, just doing swatches, and she said she's bringing Lauren, and yeah, she's gonna put them on. And I didn't understand. Is she going to do them on small swatch sticks? And Mel's going to do the um, stiletto swatch sticks? And then they're both going to be on the website? That's how I took it to be. But I have no idea who that is. Thank you. Wonderfully dry. I'm 
No. Not yet. I love this glitter. Super pretty. And I'm glad to know that um, Sweet Stone is a light nude. Nudes are a must-have from, like, companies, you know what I mean? Because there's so much you can do with a nude. You can literally do any mani with a nude, around a nude. Whether it's a, a French mani or ombre like a baby boomer style. You know, there's just so much you can do. No, no, she spelled her name L O R A N. And I doubt it would be Lauren DeFore anyway, because she doesn't even buy Dipnotic products. But I've never even seen her post a Dipnotic Manny. DeFore? <laughs> Was that autocorrect? <laughs> Want to get out on the floor? <laughs> Want to go dance with me on the floor? <laughs> All right, I'm being retarded. No, I shouldn't say that word. I'm being silly. I'm sorry. Apologies. I was acting silly. Oh, I got like a little bump right there. Little one right there. All right. All right, we are dry. And of course, oh, I was going to use the cuticle balm, but I forgot that Abby sent me cuticle oil. What did I do with it? I opened it. It's, oh, it's right in front of my face. Oh, this is so cute. So it's, it's peppermint cuticle oil. It's got little peppermint primo pieces in it, it looks like, but it's like in a lip gloss container oh i like that like kind of instead of a brush you know that's unique i like it oh i can already smell the peppermint too I like to put lots of cuticle oil on, so that's why you see me kind of uh, lathering it on. Besides the fact my hands are so dry from all the moving we've been doing. Behind me is just like boxes and bookcases and TVs. Guinea pigs. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brandis. I know. I realized as soon as I said it, I shouldn't have said that. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I said it without thinking. I'm a jerk. So here is my bin of nail feast leaves. I have a gold one, but, um, didn't know. I think I'm going to go with, like, white or something, you guys. It's only 
35 degrees out here, so we'll put a window on that. All right. Oh, rings, right? Yep, and then here's my jewelry box. Um, oh, remember that ring patty that I lost that I loved from Amazon? I found it when I was moving. We definitely got to do gold jewelry, you guys, huh? <laughs> All of my cuff rings are in a different box. I think I'll use this little ring and then what about my ring from Pure Vita with my initial in it? I haven't used this ring in a while. Yeah, I think I'll use those too. Okay, here is the finished Manny and if you like this ring you can save 20 percent at pure vita bracelets with code tara antonicio 20. um if anybody like really needs it dm me or whatever and i'll um spell it all out for you but this is the finished manny for a manny twin using dips from Tales of our nails. You can save there with code Tara10. This golden color is called Honey Bronze. The new we used is um Sweet Stone and then this gorgeous glitter, which I can't see from where I was. It's called Flaxen Dust. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed with this. I think it's really subtle, but, um, so, like, you could probably use it all year round, but at the same time, I think it's perfect for, um, St. Patrick's Day because of the green and the gold. But don't forget, there's also hints of pink in it, and there are some white glitters as well. So it is really, really pretty. Christine, I'm going to go do pictures and everything, and um, once I edit them, I'll send them to you. Thank you, everybody, for being here, especially um, all the new people who stopped by today. Hope to see you again. I am here Monday through Friday at about 11 a.m. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and then, of course, all oh my girls, I've missed you guys so much. Um, but I should be, uh, live for the rest of the week. I don't, uh, barring any, any unforeseen circumstances, but I don't see anything, you know, getting in the way. Thank you so much for being here and I love you ladies. Have a great afternoon and I will be talking to you in chat. Bye guys.